Hey guys, here it is the 1st of November and I want to address a question that just seems to come up this time of the year every single year. That is the question of black bears going into hibernation and what triggers them to actually go into the den. So first of all I want to clarify that bears do not actually hibernate in the true sense of the word. They go into a state of torpor which means basically that their heart rate slows down, their metabolism slows way down, their digestive system shuts down and they use their fat reserves to survive and they spend the vast majority of their time in a very deep sleep. Okay, that's not the same as hibernation but we, you know, it's just people call it hibernation. It's just one of the things that we use in our language I guess that's not a hundred percent accurate. But the things that trigger this might surprise you because a lot of people think, hey, we had a cold snap, you know, we had a big snow, the bears are just going to go into hibernation. Maybe they'll go into hibernation early this year because we had a lot of cold weather in October or whatever. But that's not the thing that triggers the hibernation. Snow can be a part of it. I'll get to that in a minute. But there are really two primary factors that cause the bears to go into the den and they tend to do it all at once. In fact, the bear biologist in Maine had told me one time a few years ago that they had bears with GPS collars and they almost all across the state of Maine went into the den on the same weekend basically. They kind of all went in at the same time. So the two things that trigger hibernation are the lack of natural foods and the length of the daylight hours. So as the length of the daylight hours become shorter in the fall, it triggers the metabolism in the bears to slow way down and that is one of the things that causes them to start looking for a place to den for the winter. But the number one factor is the availability of natural foods and when they start to run out of natural foods then they're they got their fat reserves and they're ready to go into the den and survive the winter on their fat. You can kind of look at it this way. It's sort of like when the amount of energy expended to gather food becomes more than the benefit of the food that they're gathering, then that's the time when they're into the den and they're going to be there all winter. And that can be in early October in the northern part of their range all the way into January and in the southern part of the range a lot of bears don't even fully den for the winter except for the sows that are going to have their cubs. But here in Minnesota and across the northern part of the US and southern parts of Canada we're going to see the bears primarily going into their dens most years in late October and that's driven by the length of the daylight hours which doesn't change from year to year. Now the other factor about the availability of natural foods, if there's a lot of food available then the bears might stay out longer. You know even if there's a lot of natural foods available like acorns and things like that, a heavy snow that covers it up could cause them to go into the den a little bit earlier because they're having trouble accessing the available food. And the one thing that might come as a surprise to you as it did to me was that if there are a lot of bear baits and the hunters are out there they're still providing food in the form of bait for the bears it doesn't change their behavior very much they actually will go into the den more based on the availability of natural foods because that's the way they're programmed even if there's bear baits available so anyway that's the question that is asked so often and the answer is that these bears primarily den because of the length of the daylight hours and the availability of natural foods. So the next time you hear that question, now you know the answer. We'll see you on the next video.